Hey. So it rained a bunch this morning. It wasn't like a torrential downpour, but it rained a good amount. I've been walking around inside the cabin trying to figure out A, if my fixes on the fasteners are working, and B, trying to mark um, the spots where it is actually leaking so that when I do the fixes in those areas, I can verify that the fix worked. Okay, so I'm on the uh, upstairs loft area. I'll just start here. This is where you will walk in from the stairs and then the loft. So you can see I've laid down some buckets and plastic here. So there's one, two, th three, three areas where um, I'm having active leaks. Basically what's happening is these boards are what the fasteners are screwed into. So this is the fastener and the water comes in and then it, it rolls down the wood. You can feel the wood is wet behind and then it'll eventually drip to the ground. The part of the roof that I worked on is in that corner. And this corner is actually where it used to leak the most. You can actually see the, the water stains on the floor. And then like right here, I, I wrote down leak, leak, leak. And then this is, uh, I'm not sure if that's water. I also wrote leak up there. Anyways, this whole area is bone dry. So I'm happy to say putting in the new fasteners completely fixed the leaking problem. Let me just grab my coffee here and turn off the lights. Upstairs. By the way, if you ever want to come up and intern for me, I got some beds up here. It's luxury. I sleep in the van. This loft space is available for any guests or you can camp out. And I put a I put a plastic bin up here because the water's leaking onto that rail. And you can tell the moisture got into this rail a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to sand that down or cut out a chunk of that rail. And got a leak where that plastic is and where that bin, that container slash bin is. And then that leak and there was a leak on top of this table. So it's coming from way up there. So how many leaks have I found? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's eight leaks. That's not too bad. And they're just like kind of drippy leaks. So unless it's like monsooning for weeks and weeks, even with the, the leaks, it's not horrible. It'd be a different situation when I get the insulation up there. So I, I need to stop the leaks before I, I insulate. I found a little wet spot, like right against the wall here, which is different from all the other leaks because all the other leaks are like two feet out. I'm actually not sure if, if it is wet or not. It's like, yeah, it's unclear. And I checked up here and there's nothing that's wet up here. So I'm a little, I was a little worried that that dampness is coming from the bottom. But I threw this um, container there just in case something drips down there and I can verify. But we'll have to keep an eye on that one. There's also water damage right on the door. So what happens is 
there's no gutters so the water just rolls down the roof and it's a steep roof so it's like rolling down super fast it just pelts down on the ground and on this um step and then it like splashes back against the house and you can see that like how much it's stained over time so my long-term plan is to build like a big porch here and then put a less steep roof over that porch so the water will be diverted out more but before i do that i want to put a french drain in here because you can see like all the years of water just coming down has dipped this part down into like a tiny little gully so water is going down into the ground and then it could push against the foundation when it freezes so i think it just as a like a safety it's it's uh like you can have never too many too much drainage i'm just i want to try to do it do this right at least to the best of my ability french drain i think it's just like really labor intensive the materials cost is not unreasonable i think so we'll do that around the whole house probably all right yeah so it pelts down on that step it like splashes against the door and then you can see all the how over the years it's just rotted out all the wood um because of the dampness now since i'm living here it's it's been better because when it gets sunny and when it stops raining i can leave the door open and that kind of dries it out faster it hasn't been like too bad like since i've been living here but i think like when there was no one here the door would just stay closed and the water would just sit underneath that door sill which is <laughs> looking like that right now the, the screws don't work anymore basically because of the rot eventually we'll get this door replaced but i don't want to do it until i got some way to catch the water that's coming down i did buy a cheap like awning to use temporarily just to put over this door although i'm gonna redo it like less water is better than more water because even like that amount of water i don't, I don't really like it i don't want the problem to get any worse than it already is and then also the awning it's just helpful for like when i'm walking outside on a rainy day Okay, so I thought I might be getting rained out for most of the week, but it looks like we're getting some pauses in the weather. Other than this storm cloud, that looks like it's rolling in. They're kind of one to three hour rains and storms that just roll through. So I'm getting some opportunity to work outside. I did a lot of uh, organizing inside. Well, uh, the weather wasn't too good, but while, while we've got this break in the weather, I'm trying to shore up my ladder situation. So I took off the, the stabilizer. That's my little giant ladder, the one that's closer. I just put that up there so I could put up. I'm gonna turn this around. Okay, so I'm on the little giant ladder, which is just goes up to the base of the roof and then I put this foam padding there so the extension ladder which is much heavier doesn't scratch up the roof I basically used one of the fasteners to secure that in place and then I put the the rubber feet um, on the ladder and basically that's giving me two points of contact uh, one at the top and then one right here by the the foam that's actually giving me a much i mean it's shaky but once i get on it it presses down against the roof and it's quite stable and there's no uh really no flexing at all we're gonna use a combination of this ladder to get the stuff like kind of closer the extension ladder and the rope 
to to get through the whole roof basically I'm feeling better much better about this setup than anything previous so I'll try to get some time lapses here and there <laughs> 